finding the future value of a single sum, growing $2,000 over 40 years. If a 25-year-old contributes $2,000 today to an IRA account, how much will the account be worth in 40 years if it earns a 10% rate of return? To solve this problem, we're going to need to find four time value money variables and shoot for the fifth. We can diagram the problem and it'll help guide us where we need to go. If a 25-year-old contributes $2,000 today to an IRA, that $2,000 is going to go in present value. How much will it be worth over 40 years? As long as our calculator is set to one payment per year, we would put 40 as in. If it earns a 10% rate of return, so let's put 10 for I. This question does not appear to be adding additional funds to the IRA, so we would say zero as payment. Now we have four variables. We know in, we know I, we know present value, we know payment, and we could then have our calculator give a shot to solve future value. Let's diagram this over a timeline. We see we start with $2,000. As the present value, we know it's going to grow at 10%. So on our timeline, we'll write 2,000 PV and 10 is I. On our timeline, we'll put zero as payment. We don't want to mess that up. So we know there's no payment here. We would put zero as payment. And we'd have 40 as N for the number of periods, assuming we were set to one period per year. Well, now that we've got that down, we can use our calculator to put in those keystrokes. We start by saying 40 is in, 40 for number of periods. Then we're going to say 10 is IYR, 10% interest rate per year. Now we have 2,000 plus minus present value because that 2,000 leaves our wallet to get invested. Zero is payment, and we're going to solve for future value. So in this problem, it's 90,000, 518, and 51 cents. That's quite a bit off 2,000. It's quite a bit of growth over that 40 years. But let's think about this for a minute. How much would we need to initially contribute to have 100,000 in 40 years? We weren't quite there in the last example. Right? So if I'm trying to solve for 100,000, I'm going to flip this question up a little bit, still use the same keystrokes, but perhaps slightly different variables. If we're looking for 100,000, we'll start with 40 in. Then we'll have 10 IYR as our interest rate. But let's not put anything in for PV at the moment. Instead, let's put zero for payment and 100,000 FV. At this point, we've keyed in four variables and we're about to find the fifth. Now note, we keyed in future value as positive because it's the amount we'll have in the account when it's all said and done and it goes back in our wallet. Go ahead and hit PV now and you'll see negative 220949. That means we need to have invested 2209 and 49 cents in order to hit our $100,000 goal.